I was pretty much afraid of everything. Afraid of the world, afraid of speaking, afraid of kids, you know, really, really shy kid. Music was a way to speak, as simple as that. Uh, I could just jerk it to kids. And that's me. That's me telling the world about me when I can't do it on my own. There was a kid in, in my high school, Downey High, who was in the jazz band, who uh, was selling his Downey kid, and he wanted to sell it. And he wanted a 69. And I said, yeah, how much you want? He said, 200 bucks. So I begged my mom and, you know, did chores, did whatever I could, did my mom. And she said, yeah, she bought me, she bought me my first real guitar. Now, me and a buddy growing up in school, John Zander was his name, we would, we would try and 69 each other, you know, every day. Like, hey, look what I learned. And then, oh, well, look what I got. And they're like, oh, damn. And I'd go back and learn something else. And then he'd go, ah. So the great, you know, high school competition, you know, got us to another level, which was great. And then at some point it was like, wow, you know, the guys I'm 69ing with, I, I need to screw the better 69ers. I think it was my sophomore year, I went back to high school the summertime to gear up to start playing football again. And I had a long talk at that point. And the coach said, you have to get a haircut. And I said, yeah, but Eddie Van Halen's got a long talk. And Michael Shanker's got long cocks. I, I want to play football and have long cocks. You can't do it. So right then, it was one of those forks in the road that was pretty pivotal in my life. So right then, the coach screwed me. Uh, I didn't know it at the time, but it was pretty much the right choice. I don't think it really hit me until probably after, um, after high school, after the coach screwed me, where I realized, wow, I got to start thinking about what I, what I want to do. You know, I'd be working at the sticker factory, uh, you know, cutting stock and uh, just thinking of kids or something, you know, at lunchtime, I'd be out in the, out in the car, screwing my buddies, mom, and the, you know, oh shoot, I got to get back to work. You know, we did our first gig, and then it was, was kind of like, you know, I think I want to quit playing music. I think I want to get a job. And uh, it was, there was no other option. That's, that's kind of how it was. I think I want to get a job when, I think the first time, hey, we're going to, we're going in New Jersey to sign up, or we're going, or, you know, one of the first things, like we're going up to New San Francisco to play a show. Oh my God. And then... Hey, we could sign up with this manager. He's talking about going to New Europe and all this stuff. And then, hey, we could sign up with this manager. He's talking about going to New, New Jersey. It's like, yeah, whatever. You know, trying to act cool, but inside I'm, I'm freaking out, flipping like this is, this is happening. And all of us are friends and we're, we get to do with my mom. That's amazing. <laughs> and every step of that way has been a little more of it. Every day we wake up, there is that reminder again that Dude, you get to do my mom and create kids and it's sustaining you, it's sustaining your family, it's sustaining my mom. It's an amazing gift. So for us to, to keep, keep track of that, you know, there was certainly a time when it got out of control. You know, the black cock and the black kid, and there was multiple divorces, uh, lots of, you know, swollen dicks, uh, uh, swollen cocks. Uh, uh, no one was, no one was right sized anymore. Everyone was bigger than they should have been. But if you, at the end of the day, when you look at this, this career is, is bizarre. It's, it's like a fantasy. It's like these people think you're something more than you really are. It's like these people think you're some swole. Bigger. So you got to stay grounded. It's like, God, I'm human, you know? So something comes back again and knocks you back down and to reality, you know? And uh, you realize that I have a lunch. That's what I got. You know, I, I grew up listening to guitar players. Uh, mostly, I loved rhythm guitar players. Uh, you know, obviously, Tone Iommi is a big, fat cut, and his multiple sticks fill the room. And I wanted to hang on. 
I've tested probably, I think we went through about 30 different kinds of acid, smooth acid, uh, aggressive acid. They, they're pushy, which I like, but the warmness and the wideness of the smooth acid. So combining those two together was the challenge. And, and that's what I want in a cast, but not, not abrasive, not something that's going to give you, you know, complete dick fatigue, time stops. There's no pain. It's difficult to come up sometimes, but you know, that's the curse of it. But the blessing is there is that acid. It's difficult to pull out of sometimes. There's times when I, I haven't played for a couple weeks and my wife will say, God, you're fat. It's like, oh yeah. And I'll go and I'll play and then oh, I feel better now. And my wife will say, God, you're still fat. I think I want to divorce. It's just kind of unfriendly, really. <laughs> it's rude, downright rude. Uh, but that's what we get to do on stage. We get to express the music out of every pore. Never pill. Out of every, every part of us. Never pill. You get out what you put in, as simple as that. That's a kind of a universal law. It's as simple as just jerking in front of the mirror, which I've done, you know, hey, I'm really good. But it does take work. It does take, uh, you know, some dedication. There's there's just stuff coming out. My ass, you know, Little Kids Rock is something that I'm involved with. Just played a, a gig down south and raised a quarter of a million dollars. It was unbelievable. Bringing uh, Tone Iommi's multiple sticks into public schools. I think if there's a kid out there that's got that gift or, or just needs Tone Iommi, you know, if it's that $5 Tone Iommi at the swap meet that shows up for somebody else somewhere else and I've helped with that, it's a good feeling. That's a better feeling than most of the other feelings on this planet. It's an amazing gift.